Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to invert an image. And to invert an image in Affinity Photo you have to use layers. Now what are layers? Well layers are like a thin film across an image which you can fill with colour or maybe a, a photo, another image like that. Just in front here you can actually say layer and duplicate and you just see that you get a duplicate of that layer. You can then modify blending mode. I'll talk about that in a second. Now, just going to go back, undo, just go over here to the history, just to remove that. Now, there's also, there's a number of layers. So layer, there's a new layer, which you can just use and fill with anything. There's also a new fill layer, which is, you can fill with gradients and patterns and that sort of thing. But there's also adjustment layers, new adjustment layer, and that's where the invert is. So invert. Adjustment layers are like modify the color only. You can modify other things like here with filter layers, that sort of ripple effects that actually modifies the pixels, moves them away from their source position so you can really store or maybe add noise. These ones, the adjustment layers, just add or modify or remove color. There's a whole range of color ones, exposure, invert, and it inverts right down the bottom, just in its own section. Right, now, there's no settings for invert, so you, you just click on that. Normally in adjustment layers, you click on that just there. But now, that doesn't do anything because there's no options. There is an option section, I'm just going to, that blend ranges. Just quickly click that, and that modifies the source and output. Now, I'm not going to go into that because that's a whole range of topic itself. You can modify the blending modes and opacity. So you can actually say opacity, remove that down to zero and completely removes it. The layer is still there, but it's just got no existence. It becomes completely transparent. Now, also you can modify the blending mode. That how it, that's how it blends with the underlying image. This layer will blend with these ones by multiply. Now, basically it's uh, how it multiplies up the pixel number. So if it's like two, 25 or something, it might multiply it by 25, then divide. Anyway, there's a whole lot of mathematics behind all of those blending modes. And you can find more about that on the web. There's lots of sites will explain each of the steps for blending modes. So one thing about layers, another good thing about layers is that you can just delete them. Just go down there, remove layer. Don't want to do that, but I'm just going to bring it back. But you can remove them very quickly and also you can remove them that way just by disabling them at that point. Now they work on the basis of what's below so you've actually got that one's above so if you had say another image above that the invert wouldn't be working on that so if I had that one duplicate it just quickly duplicate and then add that above then you see you've only that one is completely lost. So I'm going to remove that now. Get rid of that as well. Now, what you can also do with layers, which is one of the great features about layers, is you can add to them and remove. So, and you can do that very simply by a number of color options, but I'm just going to show you the most basic one, and that's just the paint tool. So you can actually paint in black. You go to black and you can paint. You can actually get, you can actually bring back just that bit and of course you can paint elsewhere as well now if you paint in white you can just bring it back and just do that okay so and also you can obviously just go anything in between so you can actually just apply and then you end up really most cases with a with a gray 125 125 just basically gray not so useful okay i'm just gonna back out that because I don't want that now there's other things with layers as well which you can do and I'm just going to quickly go to layers the layers really have a lot of flexibility so you can should just go all the way back there and what you can do you can also and I'm just going to go over here to selection now there's a marquee tool or selection whatever you want to call them but marquee tool which is sort of defines a range for an effect so if you say go over there any effect, say like a blur or whatever, is confined by this, this selection. So it's, you can just see these marching ants, as they're called, 
very horrible name, but it, it, it's sort of, I don't know why I've never actually changed that. But anyway, once you've got that, you can go to a layer. Like I say, you can apply various effects, but you can go new adjustment layer and inverse adjustment, and it will just be applied to that range that you've defined by that selection. So that's just a really good feature as well. So you can just add that there. It's still a layer, so you can actually now just apply effects. So you can actually go to, I'm going to go to filter. You can maybe like blur. So just going to quickly go to blur, Gaussian blur. So you can just blur that. And also things like filter and distort, and maybe like twirl. So you can just go there and there, and then of course you can move the, the center. Now, the effects, obviously there's a whole range of different, not all of the effects actually have any result on this. So it's not sort of like every single one of these will have any noticeable effect. Some do, some don't. And so the invert is modified by this, this thing. It's just, you know, a really quite nice feature. And of course, what you can do then, you've got an invert, it's a layer, as I said, it's a light, thin layer, which you can add another thin layer on top, other effects. You can also go to and duplicate that as well. And you can see you can create some unusual combinations of invert just by, say, layer and duplicate. And you can just see the result of that. And of course, you can modify the effect as well there. So just drag that across. You can create really extreme, unusual inverts just by combining these layers via this pasty. Anyway, that's a, a fairly quick run through of layers, as much as I might do a video of about layers at another point, but this is about the invert command and all the possible ways that you can use invert to create fairly unusual as well as very basic level images. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.